Hey y'all, um, thank you so much for coming back. Today I'm going to teach you something pretty cool. The first cool thing that I want to tell you is that I'm actually recording from my phone. So I have uh, touched out with WordPower on my phone. A, a video, a couple of videos ago I showed you guys how to um, airdrop a profile that you made or created on the iPad uh, in touch chat with word power and how to airdrop it to a phone or another device. Also how to, um, um, send it to Google drive. There were other, there are other ways you can, you know, back up and copy, but, um, those were the two that I, I talked about anyway. So <clears throat> here I am on my phone. Um, and I have my, the profile that I want to work with. So if I don't want to carry around my iPad and I'm a user, and I have, I can use my phone. I can like run to the store and I can, uh, use my device. I want, um, on my phone. I want to eat. to eat. Let's say I went to a restaurant. I want to eat, um, snack. I want to eat a snack. Okay. So I can bring my phone instead of the giant iPad. Anyway, that was something cool I wanted to talk about. So today what I want to do is I want to show you how to copy a button. And the button I'm choosing to copy, I want to talk about specifically um, also. So let me just go to the button first. So the button that I want to copy is the word finding button. So I'm going to go to this A, B, C, one, two, three. And you can see up in the top right, there's a button there called find word. Of course, this all the buttons are thinner because I'm on the phone. I'm not on my iPad. So just um, letting you know. So cool thing with touch chat is that if you don't know where a word is and you want to find it instead of navigating all over the place you can put the word in there word finder pencil so I'm going to find it and see how it's going to tell me a few different ways that I can get to pencil and if you click on it um it's going to guide you through okay hit groups all right now hit art and there's your pencil, pencil. so all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to, I want to copy that word finding button and put it, paste it onto the home page, my core words, my home page. Um, and I'll tell you why in a second. So we're going to go to the page that has the find word button on it. We're going to hit menu and edit page. Then we're going to tap on find word and we're going to copy button. Now I'm going to get out of edit mode by hitting done. And then I'm going to go home. And then I'm going to, I want to paste the find word button on this home page where the period button is because I don't use it very often. So I'll just do it there. So in order to paste it, you're going to hit menu. Then you're going to look at the, um, this menu and you're going to edit page. Then you're going to tap on the button with the period and then you're not going to edit it. You're going to come all the way down and you're going to hit paste into button set. And boom, there it is. I'm going to hit done. All right, so I, this is not my idea. I was watching other videos and another speech pathologist was saying that she puts find word on the home page so that parents have easy access to locating, um, you know, icons or words that their kids need to use at home. And I have had a lot of experience where parents are just totally overwhelmed by the devices. They don't know how to find th where to find things. Sometimes the teaching, sometimes getting trained is not, unfortunately, there's not a lot of training, um, time for training, although we should make time for training. Um, and so they just, forego the device. They just don't use it at home with their kids, which we don't want that. We want our kids to be using our devices, their devices everywhere because it's their words. So if you put the find word on the, um, homepage, it allows the parents to figure out how to find and show their kids where to find words. So let's say this parent wanted to the kid wanted to use a pencil at home and the parent didn't know where pencil was. So they could just go on the word finder button and they could type in pencil like we did earlier. And then they could say, there you go. There you go, buddy. Okay. You can find it two ways. Let's try this way. So we could go to groups from the home page. We can go to groups and then we can go to school and then there's pencil pencil. So, um, and then they can put, um, 
go back to home. I want. I want. And then, okay, now we know what to do. Groups, um, school, pencil. Pencil. And then tap, tap, tap the top um, sentence. Phrase. I want pencil. Beautiful job. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so that's a pretty quick tutorial on how to copy and paste a button. And then also maybe even just... Um, giving another option uh, for the parents if you specifically paste the find word button on the home page they can easily um, locate things and show their child how to locate things um, and it's just more user friendly and so maybe instead of ditching the device at home they might be more apt to um, use it with the kiddo um, it's overwhelming for parents so I totally get that so if there's any way we can make it easier for them that this might be helpful all right. Thank you so much. I hope this helped. Please subscribe, uh, like, comment, and let me know what other videos you want me to do. All right. See you later, guys.